All yeah, right. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Welcome to another time, another time of prayer, season prayer of Midday Glory of Prayer with Reverend Gwen Dixon. Reverend Gwen is back. Yay! <laughs> Everything. So we're excited about having her back. Again, congratulations to uh, Gwen Dixon and um, Reggie. Dixon, amen, to become a husband and wife. So we're excited about them and everything, and we're not going to take a lot of time. We're going to get everything over to Reverend Gwen, but Reverend Gwen, I just want to welcome you back. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Ray. I, I do give glory to God. I thank God so much for when Christians speak, talk, radio. And before I go any farther, I want to send a shout-out and a thank you to Minister Portia Robinson for amen. standing in for me while I was out. Um. One of these days, the Lord is going to allow me to, to speak about the experience of the last, I would say, the last 16 months of my life. Um, it's been something that was prophesied back in 1994, and that's why I tell everyone to wait on the Lord. But I also want to say something else. I had a chance to go back and listen to some of my recordings, which were actually over 30 minutes, and God reminded me of our flyer, which is supposed to be a 20-minute uh, time on the radio, and that is uh, respecting people's time, their, they're on their jobs, et cetera, and they're trying to come in and get a, a quick word from the Lord. So we're going to try to go back to – not. we're not going to try glory to God. We're going to be obedient, and we're going to go back to our 20 minutes. Amen. So we just want to go right in and, and to just begin to praise God. I am so grateful to God. Blessing. I'm so grateful to God that I'm back. Hallelujah. God is good. I, I give him praise. I give him glory. I give him honor. I thank him that he is the one that sits on the throne. Hallelujah. We praise him. We magnify him and we glorify his name. He is Jesus the Christ. Glory to God. And we just need to learn to bow in humble submission before him because he is our mighty king. We are so honored and we so appreciate everything that our Father has done for us. I, I, find myself, I find myself this morning or last night actually when I was look, I see like I had already, God had given me another topic. But as I began to, 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 to study, the Lord was saying, no, I want you to stay right here. On that, and you may not, you may not remember because I've been gone for quite some time. But we was on the topic a love relationship with him, and and he was saying, no, stay right here because this message is so inspiring, it's so encouraging at such a time like this. I was thinking on on um, speaking on something else, but God was saying that it's necessary to stay right here. You see, the world is so, is so much hatred in this world, and the hatred is not just coming from the people of the world. The hatred is also coming from some of us who call ourselves Christians, amen? So God is saying that we need to talk more about our love, amen? So anyway, um, in Psalms 97, 10, it says, Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserved the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. And then Psalms 11, 5 says, The Lord tried the righteous, but the wicked and him that loved violence his soul hated. So you see, we have to stay in that circle with God in order to be able to uh, love unconditionally. Amen. There's so many Christian uh, marriages that are breaking up. They're pastors in the poor pit. They, they're announcing that they're leaving their spouses and all this stuff is going on. And we, we know that the Bible talks about all of this division. It talks about uh, children against their, their, their parents and parents against their children, the, 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 the uh, uh, sibling rivalry that's going on and all of these things. But yet God Love family. So you see, anyone that Satan can capture, any ear that he can get to listen to him, he wants to change us so that we will not follow the word of God. But God loves family. He loves love. Amen. There are so many things that's going on on the jobs and right here in our neighborhood. Neighbors are not getting along with one another. But the problem that I see is a spirit of jealousy. Jealousy is a poison disease. Understand? And, and if we are not careful, we don't keep ourselves in that love relationship with Christ, Satan will also steal our joy. But our God, glory to God, who sees and knows all, continues to spiritually educate his people who have chosen to serve him. So we must stay in that zone with Christ. Amen. 
He loves, he turns, he turns the hatred of this world around by giving us such an awesome topic as a love relationship with him, reminding us through his word that if we abide in him, we will, and we will and follow his commandments to love one another as he loved us. In John 15, it says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hated me hated my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now that they both see and hated both me and my father. But this coming to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law, they hated me without a cause. Glory to God for his word. All God wants us to do is stay focused on him. That's the key word, focus on him. The word of God inspires the believer's mind and, and gives us a deep desire to love even when we are surrounded by hate. You know, the Bible says to love your enemies, love those who persecute you, love those who falsely accuse you. And the only way that we can be able to love is to stay connected to the vine of our Father, stay connected in his word so that we can love those that are not so loving. We have to make up our minds. We have to have the mind of Christ that we will be obedient to the things of God. Jesus is an awesome example of true love, loving unconditionally, looking beyond our fault and seeing our needs. When we have a, a difficult, when we have difficulty in loving someone who has done us wrong, we need to focus on the fact that our Heavenly Father loved us unconditionally, and we were so undeserving of it. So when we want to hold grudge, when we want to hold unforgiveness, we need to think about what God has done for us. We need to think about why we are set free, glory to God. I've learned that this is where our blessings flow. When we just do the will of God, glory be to God, blessings will overflow. We, we will experience peace that surpasses all understanding. We will experience that joy, that unspeakable glory to God. The devil can't steal our peace. The devil cannot steal our joy. It is cemented in our spirit that comes from the Lord. The Lord gave it to us, so we better know that the devil cannot take it away. Glory to God. The, the, the subject, the, 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 the um, other subject that I, was, that I wanted to bring forth was just do the will of God. And I know God is going to allow me to minister on that, but that's, that's the bottom line. All we got to do is make up our minds to just do the will of God. You see, when we do the will of God, the devil can't steal what God has given us. We have to be sold out to Christ. We do have that true relationship with him. We are in this world, but we are not part of this world, glory to God. We know the word of God. We have, we have to know that we are different than the world. We are a chosen generation. We are royal priesthood. We are a holy nation, peculiar people. We should go show forth the praise of him who, who has called us out of darkness and to his marvelous like glory to God. God indeed loves us so much. He loved us to the point that he actually sent his only son to the cross to die for us. We have to keep in remembrance of that so that our father will always be present with us. I know it says we keep saying the same thing over and over again, where the Bible never changed. Over 2,000 years ago, the same from, generations, from, gen, from Genesis to Revelation, God wants us to get this thing. He wants, when, when, I, when we get vexed in our spirit, he wants to remind us through his word that we must keep his commandment. It says in Romans 5, 8, but God commended his love towards us and in that while we were yet sinners, glory to God, he died for us. And then in Ephesians it says, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love with which he loved us even when we were dead in our sins, he has quickened us together with Christ by grace we are saved. It's his deep expression of his love for us that conforms and baffles the mind. Who could love us like that? 
so he can look beyond our faults. Some of us don't even deserve, we don't even deserve his forgiveness. But he, is, he has that deep, unconditional love. We know that in John 3, 16, God so loved the word that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We know that in Romans 8, 32, he did spare not his own son, but delivering him up for us all. How shall she not with him also fully give us all things to enjoy glory to God? God's love is not in uncertainty. It's, it's not indefinite, unclear, sentimental feeling, but it is a love that costs him everything. It is an intense, demanding, holy love that is willing to pay the greatest price in order to save the, the, save the one love. Glory to God. We thank God. Hallelujah. And at one point in our, our lives, we know that we did everything against our Father. But he continued to love us unconditionally in spite of our flaws, in spite of our disobedience, in spite of our stubbornness, our lack of faith, no respect to our parents, no respect to ourselves, until one day we heard the tapping on our heart. We heard the knocking on the door of our heart, and we finally stopped. We finally gave up the ghost, and we looked, and we listened, and we opened the door to allow Jesus to enter into our soul, to enter into our minds and take full control. We surrender all of ourselves, everything to him, glory to God, all to him, glory to God, that we freely gave, hallelujah. He saved our souls, hallelujah. That that fact that God, who needs nothing, loves into existence, holy, superfluous creatures in order that we may love and perfect us is beyond our comprehension. He is love. God's love is unconditional. And that we need to let it breathe in our spirit so that we will receive it, glory to God. There is no exception. We just know that God loves us. We praise God that that's, that's one of the greatest commandments in the Bible is that thou shall love the Lord thou God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I thank you, Father God, for being back on midday glory. I thank you, Lord God, that you have reminded me, Lord God, over and over again that love is the key, Lord God, that in spite of what others may do unto us, Lord God, we must have the mind of Christ and we must love unconditional. We must be able to look beyond a person's fault and see their needs. You have empowered us, O oh Lord God, with everything that we need, and we give glory to your name, Almighty God. We thank you, Almighty God, for your unfailing love. Will you love us, Almighty God, with an everlasting love? We thank you, Almighty God, for your grace and your mercy. We come, Almighty God, on this day to say thank you, Lord God, for another day. Thank you for our life, Lord God. Thank you for our health, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you for our strength, Almighty God, that can only come from you, Lord God. Thank you for being in our right mind. We have the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. When we open our eyes this morning, we could sleep, Lord God. When we were able to move, Father God, and get off our beds, we had the activities of our limbs, Lord God. We could walk. We could talk. We could hear. We could touch, Lord God. We could feel. Sometimes, God, we take those things for granted, Lord God. But, God, we thank you today. Hallelujah. We thank Thank you, Lord God, that you are in control of everything, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that from your glorious unlimited resources, Almighty God, you have empowered us with your inner strength, hallelujah, through the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord God. We pray, Almighty God, to grasp how wide and how long and how high and how deep your love is, Lord God, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, Lord God, that we may be filled, oh my God, in the measure of the fullness of you, oh my God. We thank you, oh Lord God, for your compassionate heart, Lord God. We thank you for your gracious heart, Lord God. You are um, so slow to anger, Lord God, abounding in love and faithfulness and maintaining love to the thousands, Lord God, forgiving wickedness, Lord God, forgiving rebellion and sin, Lord God. Oh, what a mighty God you are. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall trouble or hardship or, or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? Oh my God, we give you thanks today, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough, Lord God. Your love, Almighty God, endures forever. Thank you, O Heavenly Father, that you have made yourself known to humanity throughout the word of God. Thank you for your word, God. Your word, O oh God, that corrects us. Your word, O oh God, that 
that puts us on the path of righteousness, your word, oh God, that encourages God, your word that reminds us that you are Christ, you are the son of the living God, hallelujah. We thank you, almighty God, hallelujah. We thank you, Lord God, for looking beyond our rebellious ways, God, our proud, proudful ways, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that in spite of us, hallelujah, you loved us so much that you let your only begotten son die such an excruciating death on the cross, oh God, so that we, oh God, God may have a right to the tree of life, God. We thank you today, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty God, that your love for us, your love to, for, to communicate with us, Lord God. Hallelujah. By your word, Lord God, you communicate with us through your word, Lord God. As we read your word, we are in your presence. Oh, hallelujah, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We thank you that your word has come forth, Father God, in our spirit, God. And we desire, just as your word says, to keep your commandments, Lord God. We desire, Almighty God, to love one another as you have instructed us to do, Lord God. We desire, Almighty God, to please you in every way, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O Lord God, that we know that we are not perfect, but we are perfect in you. Hallelujah, Lord God. And we thank you, Father God. Help us to have that, that desire to continue to grow spiritually, Lord God, to continue to sit at your feet, Lord God, and receive your word of wisdom, spiritual wisdom, spiritual knowledge, spiritual understanding, Lord God. Oh, how we thank you for your grace, God. How we thank you, Almighty God, for your mercy. How we thank you for your patience, oh, Lord God, with us, your everlasting love, God. Thank you for your unconditional love, Lord God. Thank you, God, that you have given us eternal life, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you, hallelujah, for faith today, Lord God. We thank you for being for your word, God, being embedded in, on the inside of us. We thank you that you are the Savior of the world, hallelujah. We thank you, Almighty God, that you are the great I am, hallelujah. When we pause and think of all that you have done for us, God, we cry out, Lord God. We cry to you, God. Thank you, Lord God, for you are God Almighty. You are God all by yourself, Lord God. You don't need nobody else, Lord God. But, Father God, yet you, you, you equip us to to be used by you, Lord God. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, dear Lord God, for your obedience, Father God, to your Father. Thank you for your suffering, Lord God. We cannot thank you enough, Father God, for all that you have done for us, Lord God. We know, dear Lord God, that the word was written over 2,000 years ago, Lord God, but we know, God, that your word never changes, Lord God. You are Honor your promises, Lord God. Your word does not come back void, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for the for every every book in the Bible, Lord God, that expresses so many different things, Lord God. We thank you that it gives us life, Lord God. It gives us wisdom, Lord God. It gives us understanding, Lord God. We desire to walk in your commandments. We desire to walk in your beatitudes, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that your your gospel, Father God, shows us the clear picture of the mighty breasted one. It shows us the, the lamb that was slain. It shows us that you are our redeemer. You are our healer, Lord God. You are our deliverer, Lord God. We continue, Almighty God, to just rest in you. We continue, Almighty God, to just trust in you. We continue, Almighty God, to just depend on you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord God, that when we, Father God, Father God, to take the time to be in your presence, God, you give us that inner strength, Lord God, that, Father God, where we want to do stuff that's not so godly, God, when we are in your presence, God, you renew our strength, Lord, that we may mount up like wings, wings of eagles, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we just thank you, Father God. God, you are our Savior. You are the creator of everything, Lord God. You are the everlasting Father. You are the Prince of Peace, Lord God. And we thank you, Almighty God, that nothing, nothing can snatch us away from you, Lord God. So we hold tight to the hem of your garment. Oh, glory to your name, Lord God. We believe that you are our healer, Lord God. Hallelujah. You have already healed all manner of diseases, Lord God. You are our deliverer, Lord God. You sit high and you look low, and you know everything that's going on in this earth, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, you are our provider. You are Jehovah Jireh, Lord God. We cast all of our burdens to you, Lord God. You make a way out of no way, Lord God. We learn to trust and obey, Lord God, because we know that there is no other way. We look, we learn, oh my God, to walk by faith and not by sight. We learn, oh God, to stand still and mark time. Hallelujah. We learn how to endure, Lord God. We learn, oh God, that even change can be good for us, Lord God. 
You are omnipotent, Lord God. You are omniscient, Lord God. You are omnipresent, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we just thank you, Father God, for your knowledge. We thank you for your wisdom, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, that you have given all of this to us, Lord God. So we desire to exercise, Lord God. Today, God, we decree and declare, Lord God, that we will serve you in truth, Lord God. We, Father God, want to be about our Father's business, Lord God. We know, God, that you, you, Father God, we will be steadfast and unremovable, Lord God, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Hallelujah. We strive, oh, my God, to keep your commandments, to love one another as you have loved us. We, You are our shield. Hallelujah. You are our redeemer. You are our high tower, our, our protection, Lord God. And we thank you that we know that we are covered by the blood of Jesus, God. We worship the true and the living God. Hallelujah. We worship you in spirit and in truth, Lord God. We just pray all, as always, Father God, for those who are shut in. We pray for the sick, Lord God. We pray for those in the hospital and those that are in hospice, Lord God. We pray in the name of Jesus, oh Lord God, for the homeless, God, for those, oh God, for the young children, oh Lord God, that are going to school, Lord God. We pray for protection from our youngest to the oldest, Father God, those that are away in college, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, God. And we just thank you, Father God. We continue to keep the, the, the administration of the government covered in the blood of Jesus, Lord God, knowing that in spite of who's in the White House, who's, in spite of who's in the Senate, who's fight, in spite of who's in the House of Representatives, you are in charge, God. So let us stay focused on you in the mighty name of Jesus, God. We give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise, Lord God. And this is your servant's prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our soul says amen, amen, and thank you, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. It feels so good to be back. This is just a warm-up. I'm getting back into it, and I can't wait to come back next Wednesday. So God bless you, spread the word, and let everybody know that Midday Glory continues on at 1 o'clock every Wednesday. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.